welcome to my bathroom. So, um, I picked my piece because the cover says no thank you on the cover. I just said cover twice. And that's honestly how I was feeling about the rest of the semester and the rest of this class. The colors are also spiraled around unorganized, which is kind of uh, describes um, how my brain feels working on six projects at once for six different classes. Um, the first section I read was titled, Always Ask For More, and the main point of the paragraph is to teach creatives that you need to make sure you're getting the most out of every situation professionally for your future. And if you don't, the best you'll get is high blood pressure and a beer gut. Second was Accept Less, which almost pre preached like the opposite. The whole book seemed like so many scattered thoughts were just thrown together. To summarize, as we as creatives put so much on our shoulders all at once to make sure we're showing our best selves through everything. When in reality, what we really need to desire is simple things in the form of love and acceptance versus material things. Pages four and five are titled, Kill Your Phones, and the last line in the whole section is, Save Your Soul. This is a topic I've been dealing a lot with in other classes in recent weeks, and I notice more and more how much work I don't get done because my phone is within arm's length. It causes me to not meet day-to-day -day goals, it's a tight leash around many people's throats. I've never had the confidence in my work a lot of creatives do. Because there's just so much more work that can always be done to a project. I write a blog for Warden Center where I work in the marketing department and I started putting my name on pieces and instantly felt better about them. This is all in relation to the page labeled artists to sign their work. In conclusion, I gotta do the work and no one's gonna do it for me.